Ask for the truth on behalf of Shane Reynolds concerning relationship issues. I'll ask for insight into Shane's relationship. We ask for this in the name of truth. Right conduct. Peace. Love. And non-violence. Blessed be to the truth always. Now we cut the cards there for you Shane and uh, just neaten up the deck. And then we'll place it to the side here. And uh, we'll deal out three cards for you. Uh, to see what's been going on. Uh, which is what the first card does actually. Because the first card represents the recent past. And that establishes the situation. The next card speaks of what's going on now. I suppose you could say the result of the past. Which is of course, the, I suppose in a way, the cause of the immediate future. Which, we just place the third one there. The... Um... The recent past and the immediate future are about a moon phase uh, apart in the sense of the recent past is about a moon phase behind whereas the immediate future is a moon phase ahead, about a moon. Um, about 28 days isn't it, roughly. Between now and just after the last full moon you, you, you could say, couldn't you? Uh, is the first card that we deal um, whereas the immediate future is between now and the next or just after the next full moon let's just establish though what's been going on um, in this situation you, you need insight into the relationship let's just tell us what's been going on just recently over the past three or four weeks or so we'll just flip the card nice and slowly and then we'll just see what energy is here uh, what vibrates and of course the meaning of that card now in, in this case you've got the Queen uh, the meaning of, 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 of that card is, is, is relevant to the recent past it was asked on your behalf so it's relevant to you in your recent past and the relationship question so it's you and your relationship in the recent past and that's how it works that's how we can get answers to questions but uh, it's that simple um, love and prosperity seems to be um, a strong energy that's been vibrating over the past three or four weeks uh, before you there Shane the Queen of course is a member of the Royal Court and uh, she represents a person in this case the woman in your life. Maybe I got a funny feeling as though she's tried to, I don't know about control, but certainly be in charge of the relationship and, and direct it in the way she wants it to. Um, that doesn't necessarily uh, help when maybe you want to direct it in the way you want or you want a bit of give and take here. Um, to, to to tango, um, it seems to be uh, it seems to have been all about her just lately, and uh, that can be annoying, can't it? Um, if it's a relationship or or, or, or any uh, situation where communication is uh, involved. Uh, but certainly, yeah, that there is that where she's uh, certainly maybe tried to control the finances or, or something of that nature, and you haven't been ready to uh, let her do that yet, or, or at least your finances anyway, or, or, or whatever. Uh, where are the car keys, or uh, how much did you spend on on, on gas and on petrol this week? Uh, you what? You bought? You what? 
Uh, this sort of, I'm not saying it's that, I'm just saying it's that sort of thing where where uh, she sort of maybe feels that you're not capable enough and she's supposed been treating you, treating you about like a child really. Uh, yes, I suppose a lot of men go after women who are like the mother and a lot of women, women go after men who are like the father. So women need father and men need mother and it's that sort of thing. But maybe she's just been uh, a bit too much of a mother and, and, and it's uh, just been getting you down a bit. I, I get that sort of sense from it. Let's see what's going on now though. How's it affected you right now? Uh, we'll just um, flip this uh, card over here. This card represents the present, doesn't it? It represents uh, just the effect of what, what's recently been going on, which is, is of course uh, the, the, the cause or, or the trigger for what is happening next. And then whatever happens next, we can sort of work out why, or, or work out the, the reason why it triggered it in the way it did. Let's just um, uh, flip that card over there, and that's the, the energy that we've got there for the present. The energy of fire, as you can see. Um, a lot of Sagittarius, Leo and Aries going on there. The Aries and, and Leo, of course, are controlling sort of energies, aren't they? Um, maybe you're one of them. Maybe you are, you and her is, is one of those signs or, or something. I don't know. But either, either way, that, 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 that sort of some, from a symbolic point of view, uh, that, that is what's... Uh, present right now and of course um, it seems as though I get the funny feeling as though here as it says reckless actions lead to conflict and has, has, has somebody's done something somebody's sort of and you thought what, what did you do that for uh, and it led to an argument there's, there's an argument literally just taking place over the past 24 hours I would say really over it uh, because of something somebody's done. I got a sense as though she may have done something and, and you said, well, okay, uh, do this, do that, but why did you go that far and do that? Um, as, as I was saying, the, the sort of the example of spending too much on, on, on gas, on petrol, on fuel, or, 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 or uh, um, well, I'll let you have... Uh, I'll let you have ten. I'll let you have like twenty dollars, but I think you can spend it all on that, or whatever. Um, and I don't know what it is. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying it's that sort of thing where you, you, there's been a bit of leeway and it's gone too far, and she's taken. I got a sense she's taken advantage. Uh, she feels as though because she's got control of the relationship, that she feels responsible for keeping you both together. That. Uh, she, she's allowed to do anything she wants and it's this point where she's, thought she's allowed to do anything she wants she's gone and literally done anything and she's done something stupid and, it, and it's caused an argument it might be one of these it might be one of these situations or one of these actions where it'll all blow over tomorrow just don't do it again type things or it could be something a bit more serious I don't know but certainly somebody's done something uh, stupid in this relationship. I sense it's her, but then again, it could have, been, could have been you in the sense of... It could have been you in the sense of uh, you lost your rag with her or you, or you, or you lost it and, 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 and maybe, you know, um, I don't know. Uh, worst, the worst case scenario, you smacked her across the face. Uh, the worst case scenario where they shit you with a frying pan. Uh, that sort of thing. He, he just went just a bit over. Some boundary was broken by either one of you. I sense it was her maybe on a trivial sort of matter where, where she just took something for, something for granted and, and, and they thought because she was in control she could literally do anything. I get that from it. But uh, then again... Uh, either way, somebody's done something reckless there, and it's led to some sort of conflict, some sort of argument. A thundering great row, as we, we say over here in England, a thundering row. 
ROW, which is like a row of a row of bottles on a wall. But uh, of course, row. It's the same thing, and it's like a noise. Uh, I want to see what the next card is here. What uh, uh, where where this is potentially going to end up uh, between between now and the next within the next moon and the next moon phase uh, between now and just after the last full just after the next full moon. Let's just flip that card over, uh, nice and steady there, not to disturb its energy, of course, and we'll just see what this is about. And notice there we've got the hand of fate, uh, another. Uh, uh, we've got an energy there from the from, from the treasury, um, just really indicating that forces beyond your control are going to intervene here. Uh, maybe I don't know if you've heard this. You've heard the saying, "A blessing in disguise." Well, thank God that happened. It was a blessing in disguise because if it hadn't happened, I'd have done something to have made it happen, or I would have probably done something worse. In the sense that the reckless action that somebody's uh, somebody's um, partaken and somebody's done uh, right now, um, it's as if there's another reckless action just around the corner, but forces beyond your control are going to get in the way to stop you doing it. Like, say for example, just for the sake of argument, you want to hit her over the head of the frying pan, um, all of a sudden she ducks or uh, the cat jumps off the cat jumps off the uh, off, off the window ledge and stops you because you don't want you don't want to kill the cat or something like that you know just not some sort of joking sort of side of it it's just that something in in, in that from a metaphorical point of view uh, gets in the way and stops you from from maybe maybe you were thinking maybe you're thinking well after this I, I think I'm gonna have to walk out I've got to because for the sake of to save me sanity. She's trying to control me too much there with Leo and, 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 and Sagittarius. Sagittarius with the magic and the yeah, he's trying to gain sort of balance of a situation or whatever. And I'm gonna to have to walk out, but just something may just stop you from walking out. Forces beyond your control may stop you from walking out. Maybe the force beyond your control is a doctor's paper saying that she isn't quite all there and uh, she's had a bit of a a, a, a few problems and uh, you didn't know about it. well I'm sorry if, if I'd have known that I wouldn't have been so hard on you or it's sort of, I'm not saying it I'm just saying it's that sort of thing where forces beyond your control intervene where something uh, or, or, or whatever just stops you from doing what stops you from doing a stupid act. This is why I sort of got that the, the, the reckless action was, was done by her or is being done by her right now because uh, the forces beyond your control will be there to stop you from doing something stupid as well and I suppose making two wrongs to try and make a right and we don't we know that they don't. Um, there's that sort of thing going on. It's like a toss up isn't it? Of, one, who was it who did the stupid thing? I sense it may have been here and you were thinking of trying to do something, but the only reason I'm, I'm think, saying that you're, you're, you're trying to do something in, in reaction to it is because of the forces beyond your control stopping you from doing it. Uh, maybe you just see Santa like, like, like I say and, and, um, and, and, and whatever. And, uh, other than having a laughing joke about frying pans and cats jumping off, off, uh, off, off window ledges and things like that. Uh, nevertheless, um, there is a, there is somebody. She is in control of this relationship, uh, and somebody, just somebody in the relationship, whoever it is, I sense it's her. But whoever it is, regardless, it could be you. But either way, I just sense it's her. Either way, somebody in the relationship is now trying to control it and really get on somebody else's tits and that's not really what we want uh, it's about uh, two to tango isn't it and um, we want to have this dance together it's not about you dancing and I'm supposed to clap literally with the hand there uh, but uh, what is the sound of one hand clapping well 
That's an interesting question. It's the sound of one hand clapping, isn't it? But of course, uh, the hand of fate just having literally an hand in it between now and just after the last full moon that maybe you're saving grace. Maybe you walking out and blaming yourself for walking out. Maybe it was meant to happen. And maybe that was a blessing in disguise. The forces beyond your control where maybe your own common sense clicking in and telling you to, you know, enough is enough and I've got the rest of my life to live. I can't, I, I, I want to be in control of something. Um, or it could be the other way around in, in, in the sense of, as, as, as we sort of said, it could be the other way around in the sense that every, everybody, everybody comes to the senses, forces beyond the control, maybe something happens in the family pulls us all together, stops us from trying to control each other, it pulls us all together and we start sharing again because somebody's passed away or because the dog's died or whatever or whatever it is because something has happened and look we've all got to pull together now uh, regardless if you're trying to control this, uh, control that and you're telling me what to do and you're nagging me all the time Luke, mother's just died Let's pull together, we've got to organise the funeral, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. Forces beyond our control have just intervened and stopped us from basically quarrelling with one another. Maybe I'll just say, well, well, if it's a positive or a negative thing, God forbid it has a, a death in the family, but I'm just using that as an example of something that's there between now and this time next month that will in some way be a blessing in disguise and stop all this, uh, this childish control freakery, this, this power struggle going on. If it's that bad, really, uh, if it's that bad together, really maybe, just maybe, who knows, maybe we're best going our own separate ways. Um, uh, but that's a decision, sadly, that you must make. Uh, and of course, if things can get better, that's a decision I can't make for anybody because I am then denying you of a spiritual development that maybe you deserve, maybe both of you deserve, and, 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 and both of you uh, deserve to be enriched and not be pulled apart. So with that, for now uh, there Shane, all the best either way, take care and just play it safe. And don't do anything stupid now. For now, these cards have spoken. <laughs>